Hey, Charlie. Yeah. What's up, Charlie? Hey. Are Bill, you you remember, Bill, you remember Charlie? Oh, is this Charlie? Hey, what's up, Charlie? <laughs> yeah. Charlie's a new listener. Hi. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a new listener. Hello. Where do, where do you where do you call from, Charlie? Where do you live? I live in Evansville. Evansville, Indiana. You got it, buddy. Who is this? It's Alan. Oh, hey, Alan. How are you? I'm good, man. What's going on? Hey, are we are we live or are you on a commercial break? I'm talking to you right now. I'm not talking to people in commercial breaks, Charlie. Hey, Alan, quick question for you. Um, I know that you, you're kind of left-leaning. Let me ask you a question. I'm, I'm being very sincere about this. If you thought that there was any sort of interference, like let's say election fraud, let's say votes weren't counted, let's say uh, votes weren't uh, – let's, let's say the Republicans st- stole the election. Would you want that to, to come to truth, to light? Would I want evidence, evidence of election fraud? Of course. Okay, so do you believe on any level that there was any sort of election fraud when uh, Joe Biden was elected president uh, in the last election? Well, no matter what I think, they exhaustively and conclusively determined that there was no election fraud. Okay, who are these people that exhaustively determined that? The people who are in charge of those election committees and— Okay, so you, okay, you trust the people that are in charge? Yes, can I ask you a question, and I'm being very sincere. I'm not trying to be cocky. I don't want you to hang up with me and say, Charlie's an idiot. Have you read Ashley Biden's diary where she talks about Joe Biden showering nude with her until she was 13 years of age? That's a fact. It's not like a conspiracy. It's, it's actual fact. What does that have to do with election fraud? I'm going to ask you a question about the people that voted for Joe Biden, the people that are going to vote for Cam- Kamala Harris. Joe Biden's daughter, Ashley Biden, in her 100 percent FBI-confirmed diary, talked about what she wrote about showering nude with her father until she was 13. She also wrote about him molesting her. She wrote about this. She talked about this in her diary. Doesn't that concern you? Doesn't that concern you where, where, where people are like Kamala is not coming out and saying, you know what? I denounce this monster. I denounce him. Why aren't people denouncing him? Seriously. Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of people who are denouncing. I don't know if you've been paying attention, Charlie. There are quite a few people denouncing Joe Biden. And then he stepped down and you guys are still talking about Joe Biden. No, 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 no. I've asked you specifically regarding his daughter. Because you don't want to talk about Kamala uh, Harris. No, no, you, you, you it doesn't matter, matter what you talk about it. Charlie, you it doesn't it. matter. Then you won't talk about it. You won't mention it. You won't talk about it. Let's I, have a I conversation don't, about that. Charlie, I don't know anything about it. I'm not going to comment okay, on something I, 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 I'm not going to comment on something I don't know anything about. Why won't you research it? Why won't you look into that? Why are you so angry at me, Charlie? Because I want you as a liberal individual, someone that's got a massive following, to say, listen, Republicans are full of crap. They're disgusting. They're all toilet. But hold on. We've got to take a look at what Joe Biden's daughter Ashley wrote about in her diary about her father showering nude with her until she was 13 years of age. And also she wrote about him molesting her. Doesn't that concern you? You won't talk about it. Uh, what, you, you refuse to acknowledge it. Charlie, I don't need to, to because you're talking about it right now. But why won't you, as a voice? You know what? I was on your Wikipedia page earlier. I read your Wikipedia page earlier. Why, why are you, you so, won't? Charlie? Why are you so? What do you do there in Evansville, by the way? That you have all this time? Are you retired? I have a pressure washing business. Okay. Dude, do you post videos of them? Because that'd be so great. Oh, please. That'd be so I much more satisfying than these. Very, calls. very satisfying. Do you post? Do you have like a YouTube channel where you pressure wash clean stuff, like driveways and fences and stuff? <laughs> I feel like you're making fun of me. I make a decent living. No, like, oh, I'm, saying, I'm saying some of those popular videos online, Charlie, are pressure washing videos. We're I'm trying to build on common ground. ground. We're, We're trying to help you. you. Huh? No, no, I work. No, no. You know what? I grew up in foster homes, so I do do. I do. I I don't want to tell what I do. I'm not gloating. Or I, I know I, I like to help. Uh, uh, foster homes, children's homes. That's I do great. work with animal rights. No, no, no. That's irrelevant. That's no, 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 great. No, no, no. It's irrelevant. We all have to make a living. <laughs> but I'm asking you Okay, a listen, Charlie. You, uh, you know what? Ashley Biden. Biden. I am going to. Uh, I'm going to let you You're go. You're going to hang up on me because you don't want to have a conversation. With I'm me. going to uh, research that. Have a t- conversation with me, Alan. Charlie, Alan, I'm, I'm going to gonna research that tonight. Okay. Honestly, are we? Were you, were you honestly? Yeah, I'm going to research that tonight. I'm going to take time. Re- I'm going to take time, re- and I'm I'm sure it'll be all. I'm sure all of the information will be completely on the level. You know, it's funny, Alan. You know, I actually respect you. 
But why you don't even know me? Why would you respect me? You don't even know me. You, you weren't even a, you weren't even a listener, Charlie. You weren't even a listener until four days ago. Why would you respect me? You know nothing about me. Because I read your Wikipedia. I read your Wikipedia page. You had a relationship with Jonathan Brandmeier. Correct? I didn't write my Wikipedia page. Yes, he was my boss thirty dude, years ago. Dude, your, your really? Wikipedia page is longer. If you took Barack Obama, Mahatma Gandhi, if you took everybody in the last six years, you've got the most long. I have a Wikipedia feeling page. that my Wikipedia page is probably not longer than Mahatma Gandhi's. Dude. Okay, listen, Charlie, Wikipedia I appreciate the call. Like Thank you, pal. There's Charlie in Evansville, Indiana, who has a pressure washing business. It must be fun hey. when he comes to your house. He wants to talk your ear off right. about the... Oh, I forgot to play him the J.D. Vance theme song. Come on. Come on. I figured Charlie would dig it. Yeah, J.D. Vance likes to bang couches, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess Charlie doesn't have a problem with uh, Trump and the Epstein list and all that kind of stuff, but well, he's, he's trying running. To, he's trying to draw the comparison. How come the, the people are so outraged by all the Trump stuff, but when it's you know Joe Biden and he's being accused of this by the his daughter's stolen? I I, yeah, I don't know daughter, anything yeah. about that. I got to tell you that that is not on my radar. But here's the bottom line: Joe Biden's not running for president, mm -hmm. so. You know, if that's going to get looked into, I'm sure it'll get looked into. And I'm sure Charlie, quite frankly, uh, will be leading the charge there in Evansville, Indiana. But he thought we and were Charlie, we thought we were giving him a hard time. Pressure washing videos are crazy popular, by the way. They're crazy popular. I love watching. It's like a porn good, for people. Yeah, I love watching. It's so satisfying watching the grime and stuff come up. It's it's one of those like relaxing videos that I'll watch before I go to bed. But when I'm doing it, I go, I should yeah. really be filming this. Yo. Right? Yo. Get that engagement, Mary. I know it. Engagement with the pressure washing my fence. Alan, I think we've hit our breaking point. You said you spent $13 on a drinkable salad. <laughs> That's 90 calories. Yeah. And it's good for a year, which... Vegetables wouldn't be good for a year, and you act like that's a good thing. A 90-calorie lunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you need to talk to somebody. Bye. By the way, it, it, it's it's just a um, it's a smoothie. So you're like, vegetables wouldn't be good for a year. No, if you leave them in your fridge for a year, but these are sealed pouches, I got and they're delicious. Of, I got a bag of salad that's probably about the same consistency as your uh, I was going to say, you buy <laughs> a bag of yeah, yeah, everybody has the best of intentions with bag salads, myself included. Mm -hmm. And then you pull them out, like, you, but you have 48 hours, basically, to eat a yeah, bag of salad. Yeah, usually I'm pretty good about it, but one got away from me, and I keep forgetting to throw it away. So yeah. that's pretty good. No, right listen, now. I got You say what you want, but I like these. Uh, I like uh, my drinking my uh, salad smoothie for lunch. Pretty good, my squeezy salads. You got to, what are you, eating baby food now? Well, I'll show it sort to Mary of, here. Yeah. I mean, you weren't here when I was talking about my squeezy salads. But when, the easy, when, the easier that I can make the ingestion of foods. I here, was having let me a, show it to her on the uh, on I was the having webcam. a conversation with some people. Um, can you see that, Mary? Mm-hmm. I, I 16 spinach leaves, 12 kale leaves, 5 carrots, 4 broccoli heads. Pull it up a little bit. A half an apple and a quarter of a lemon. Yeah. That's all you're eating for lunch? Yeah. 90 calories. It's good. In and out, yeah. 21. You realize that's problematic? How so? Because you need more than 90 calories to live on. It's not all I eat all day. Uh, you're probably, that's what I have for lunch. But if that's all you're having for lunch and you're on record as not eating breakfast or having a hard-boiled egg for um, breakfast. Sometimes I'll have breakfast. Yeah, I'm trying to get back more into breakfast. Um, some overnight oats or yogurt or something. How but, many um, calories would you say you have in a day? I certainly don't have 2,000. I'm trying to get to 2,000. You don't have to get to 2,000. Yeah. You don't have to 2,000, but it seems like you're maybe eating six or 700. I don't, no, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't follow my calories because I'm supposed to be getting 2,000 because I lift every day. I'm supposed to be getting 2,000. I've talked to a friend of mine. I go, I don't know how people get 2,000 calories. Bro, I'll I get 2,000 in the next 15 I, minutes. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, <laughs> so, no, but I had a lot of people hit me up. Uh, they were like, hey, what's the name of that? Uh, it's called Salad Power. Hashtag not an ad, but... Um, it's just an organic smoothie with more vegetables than fruits is what it is. That's not a smoothie. I wouldn't call that a smoothie. Well, it's like a, That's an applesauce child's pouch. 
Well, yes, of, but I'm. Uh, that's very clear. It's a pouch, and it's if I can if I can be done with it and move on with my day, that makes me happy. But I was explaining it, or it was it was being asked of me. We were sitting around at this wedding reception on Saturday, and Gwen was breaking my balls over these squeezy salads. And I go, look, I'm not I'm not here to tell you what to do or talk about it or whatever. But I'm like, you know, that this is what it is. And if I can uh, suck one of these down and continue with my day, then that makes me happy. Just trying to uh, more efficiently uh, ingest things that are uh, good for me. And, you know, obviously if I go to dinner or something, I'm uh, going to sit down and have some food. But uh, these are pretty good. So far, so good. You should try them, Mary. No, I worry about you. Why? I really do. I mean, well, I, I think that's what that that's what that an entertaining show. That but, like, guy I legitimately worry about. Why? You. Because you don't have a healthy relationship with do food. I, do I look unhealthy to Alan, you? Alan, eating ninety calories for lunch across the board, any doctor or or I food understand what you I understand say that what you're okay. saying. Yeah. I understand what you're saying. I'm not a, one of these one meal a day guys, but this it happens to be. I didn't make it. I just consume I'm not it. Saying you made it, so it's ninety calories. What do you but want from not, me? You it understand says, that it ninety says, calories for a meal is not. It says this is one serving size. Sure, but I ain't a serving gonna, size is not a meal. Well, I'm not. What am I gonna suck down three of these for lunch? No, you thanks. can have a regular salad, a regular three hundred calorie salad that you uh, chew. Fine, sometimes <sighs> I do, but Thursday and today. Squeezy salad. Look at the face she's giving you now, Alan. I'm giving a face now. <laughs> I can hear it in her voice. I don't have to see her face. She disapproves. Oh, tone matters now, too. Okay. She disapproves. It just worries me. Why? Because it, you're, it's not healthy. Do I, again, I, do I strike you as unhealthy? Yes. How? Because limiting your amount of calories is just as harmful as over. I'm not limiting my amount of calories. You're I'm not arti- 90 but calories But I'm, arti- I'm not artificially limiting my calories. I'm eating what I want to eat when I want to eat it. And right now, I want to eat squeezy salads. It's not my fault that they're 90 calories. Because everybody else goes, well, why don't you just get the produce and, and put it in a blender? It would still be 90 calories, and I'd be doing a hell of a lot more work. We're going to buy crap, and then it goes bad in the fridge. I got to grind it up every day. No way. This company's doing it for me. I understand. They're doing the it for con- me. I understand the convenience of it. That's all I'm saying. I And I get that, but it doesn't make it healthy. It's healthy in the fact that it's not sugar or 16 cookies. spinach leaves, 12 kale leaves, 5 carrots, 4 broccoli heads, 1 half apple, 1 quarter lemon, 8 ounces, drink cold is what it says. I am not questioning whether or not it is nutritious. No. Yeah. I'm saying not consuming a a healthy amount of calories is going to do more harm to your body than good. Well, I get most of my calories the rest of the day. In Just what? So ha- well, what I eat for dinner, I eat protein, a vegetable, and, you know. So I, I don't know what you want. I mean, I'm just, I've gotten a lot of messages from people that were like, hey, what's the name of that uh, thing? Squeezy salad? No, it's salad power. Squeezy salads. That's what I call them. Mm-hmm. But. That's 14 cents a calorie. That ain't bad. You know? You should try them, Mary. You like them. I will not. I'm not saying I, just to try them. You might like them. I mean, them. it would be fun. Yeah, to have as a snack, maybe. There you go. I'm not, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying it isn't nutritious. By the way, you don't have to eat three giant meals a day. You don't, but you shouldn't, you should also be getting at least 1,100 calories. That's like the bare, bare, I'm bare sure I minimum. I'm sure I am. I'm sure I am. If you're having a 90 calorie lunch, and maybe sometimes once a week eating breakfast. No, I don't eat breakfast once a week. I, I, I'm getting more into breakfast. I'll have some eggs. How many? Three, eggs are, three or eggs four. Eggs are 70 calories a piece. Three or four. Okay. Yeah. He's not cooking them in so, butter. Nope. No, but no butter. But still, just what, scrambled? Scramble with salsa, yep. So three scrambled eggs is 210 calories. With your 90-calorie breakfast, you're at 300 calories. You think you're eating 800 calories for dinner? Um. Yeah, probably. It's not hard to eat 800 calories. If the way that you eat it is. Well, you have some meat, you have some vegetable, you have some, you know, you can eat, yeah, 800 calories, yeah. Again, I'm not, I know what you're saying, but it, it, but if I were, like, feeling strange or feeling different, then obviously but, I can regulate my own uh, intake of things. The reason that I'm eating these is because I'm like, well, let's see how I feel after a week or so of eating these, and then we'll adjust. Let me ask you this. What's and I'm, your- only, I'm only two days into eating these, and so far so good. 
what's your goal with uh, going to the gym and lifting weights? What is, what is your goal there? What do you mean, what is my goal? Is your goal to lose fat, to build muscle? What is your goal? Just staying strong. You can never be too strong. <laughs> meet nice guys. Meet, meet a fancy fella. <laughs> Usually, mo- most mornings is like me and two other people. It's dead when I go mm-hmm. to the gym. Well, only I usually got the place to myself. In order, if you want to build muscle, you well, that have will to ha- have protein. But, but that will, and I do, that will happen. It won't happen if you don't have any protein. Correct. So I'm, eating a 90-calorie pouch for lunch that has almost no protein in it is counteractive to the goals that you have. Yeah, but I don't have th- – this thing is not the only thing I'm eating all day. This is merely a matter of convenience. You're, that's, you're talking that's to me. That's why I you, asked what your goal was. If your goal is to put on muscle mass – I know I joke that I can't do math, but I can do math. I know what 90 calories is. It ain't much. But I'm also not going to eat a lot of these kinds of things. People drink them or eat them or whatever, and they have tons of sugar in them. And they're like, oh, I got all my calories for, you know, they have a ton of sugar in them. It's not I'm, sugar in them. Again, I'm not making the argument that it is not nutritious. Nutritious and healthy are very different things. Yeah. I'm just, I want to get to the point where everything that I need to consume, I can have in liquid pouch form. That's what I want. A few years ago, there was this company that came out called, um, Soylent, and they were immediately cut off at the knees because there was some massive, they had listeria problems or E. coli or something like that, but the the company was, they might still be around, but they had a whole lot of hype a few years ago before all that nonsense got in the way. And it was just for people who were like, hey, this pouch has all the stuff I need, squirt it into my mouth, I'm going on with my day. Simple enough. Now, I'm not obviously going to go home and puree, you know, Mike and Parma wants me to <laughs> puree my chicken breast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to. Pouch it up. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Squeezy chicken. No, Come on. no, no. If I go to dinner and sit down and whatever, I'm going to tuck Squeezy in. Chicken. I'm going to get real food. But in the course of my day, every one of my days is pretty much the exact same. Then, yeah, I'm going to squeeze a salad into my mouth. I'm going to go on with my day. Walk outside, walk, stand in line, tell them what I want in my salad, walk back. Come on, man. Once in a while, I'll do that. It was pouring rain today. I'm not walking down to Heinen's, have them stand there and put stuff in a bowl for me. So I'll figure it out. So far, I'm doing fine. But I'm only two days into these, too. Obviously, when I'm done with the initial box of eight or whatever it is, then I'll reassess. I'll go, well, is that good enough to keep getting? And it might not be. I, I'm might, not have to, it I'm might, not, I might have to adjust to something else. Yeah. I just, uh, for me, it's the $13 a pouch that. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, listen. Like I, I spend said, your money, eat your food whatever you I, want, but if, good God, yeah, $13 but if I, a pouch. If I bought the stuff to make eight pouches, it would cost me as much. No, it would not. No, oh, would come not. on. No, Those it would $13 not. $13 a pouch? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> they might not be. They might not be that much. They might be around ten. How much did you pay for eight? Eight of them. I'd have it was to go a box ba- of eight. Uh, yeah, I'd have to go back and look. What are they called? Bucks? Is it on Amazon? It's Salad Power is what it's called. Salad Power. Uh, I could be way off, but I thought they were like ten bucks a pouch. I mean, listen, they they don't make it's it's people pay for the convenience, right? So they're not selling these things to you at two bucks a pouch. You're gonna pay for them. So I don't I don't recall how much I paid for them. I'd have to go back and look. But it was probably fifty bucks for eight. What does that work out to? It's less than ten. This I guess. says it's one hundred and forty-five for eighteen. Yeah, I didn't get that many. Yeah, I got eight of them, I think. But um, yeah, so we'll try it. And we'll see. I'm always looking for ways to make things more efficient. And um, you know, again, I'm not somebody who eats because I love eating. You know, I talk to people about this all the time, and I am an outlier in that way. I fully understand that people love. To eat. I'm at this wedding reception over the weekend, and they have this big spread, right? They had uh, salmon and green beans and potatoes and pork and salad and this, like, and I grabbed some salmon, I grabbed some green beans, grabbed a little bit of salad, and I'm fine. But my wife's extended family, this is all her extended family, right? Big Polish family, you know, so everybody's got like two and three plates, and that ain't me. But... You know, I eat how I want to eat. So far, so good. They don't even have an eight 
option. You know, six, eighteen, or thirty. No, well, maybe I bought six. How much is six? Six is fifty-four dollars. Yeah, that sounds about right. So how much is that per nine? Yeah. Okay, so nine bucks a pouch. I mean, that's not going to change anybody's uh, assessment of the situation. No, but, not at no. all. <laughs> <laughs> But no, if I go to dinner or something like that, I'll sit if. down and I'll have like food, food, and that's all great. Not I'm saying, not, I'm if, saying, not, important not, if, word there. I'm if saying day to day. To huh? If he goes to dinner, not if he's. If I go to dinner, not if I'm eating at home. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about every night. No, if, if I if I'm eating at home or at work, I want it to be as efficient as possible because I don't have a lot of time. I want it to be efficient. If I have time to go and sit and and have dinner with some friends or whatever, then we'll do whatever. I don't care. You should track exactly what you eat in a day. Like, get a food scale, weigh it out, whether it's three eggs, two tablespoons of salsa, six ounces of chicken, I'm a quarter cup that. of rice, but just so you can see how little you're eating. I'm not doing that. I can add up the things that I eat. But you're guessing. Well, no, it'll tell me on the back of the package. It doesn't, you that's don't why know. I'm eating, that's why I'm eating things out of squeezy pouches. Sure, but you don't know how many ounces of chicken you're having or how many ounces of fried rice or whatever the hell you're eating or broccoli. It's probably not fried rice. No, I ain't fried rice. How much candy are you eating? I'm not eating candy. No, no candy? No, uh-uh. All right, do you have abs yet? They're getting there, yeah. Let's see. Oh, stop. Hold, hold your shirt up. I'm not Let's pulling see my shirt up. Come on, stop stand it. up. Stop. Pull First of all, I'm not, this isn't Let's for see. any... I'm, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm an old dad, and i got to stay strong and flexible. It's that simple. That's why I, I go to the gym. I understand that, but my, my whole point is that if you... I know what your point is. I understand. What's my point? Your point is I'm not eating enough and getting enough calories. Yeah, so far that you're not so far be strong or flexible so if far, you're starving yourself. Well, I'm stronger and flexible. So, what I'm saying is All right, let's see how flexible you so are. So far, it shows your abs. So <laughs> far, I'm not having any issues. Do the splits. I got people 20 years <laughs> younger than me complaining about their knees hurt, their feet hurt, everything hurts. Nothing hurts on me. Nothing. So, whatever I'm doing, and listen, it can always be improved and tweaked. That's what I'm talking about with the efficiency. Right now, I'm feeling fine. I feel good. Okay. No problems. I will know. You know, I have my annual checkup coming up in a couple of weeks. I will know. I'm pretty in tune with what's going on. So I will know if I feel different or weird or I'll go, oh, well, maybe it's this. And you swap that out for something else. But so far, I'm, these squeezy salads, pretty good. I don't mind them. I don't think it's going to be a a, a long term life hack, but for now they're all right. Just like a thick V eight. You got a problem with a thick V eight, Mary? If it's an entire meal, yes. <laughs> well, I still have my salmon jerky. I have my mm-hmm. thick V eight and a salmon jerky. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Sometimes I'll squirt it on the salmon jerky. Gross. Yum. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay, I got to take a break here. Hey, you want to go see Thirty Seconds to Mars? It's Jared Leto, his big brother Shannon. And uh, they're coming back to perform for you out at Blossom. It's not far off. It's August 7th. So that's next week. Wow. Already. With AFI and Poppy and Kenny Hoopla, it's a good lineup. So you want to go to that show?